Hello, Nick. How are you? I'm good, sir. How you doing? I'm doing well. Well, I'm, uh, I'm very curious about this uh, Grow One, Save a Million campaign. First of all, I, I would guess that your reason for growing a mustache originally was not necessarily environmentally friendly. How did you uh, come to facial hair in the first place? Well, you know, I, uh, I don't like to shave, and I love being a character actor, so those two things go hand in hand. <laughs> and uh, I, we're off shooting from Parks and Recreation right now, so I, I was working a, a pretty thick beard anyway when Budweiser called me to get involved. Excellent. Uh, so now you are uh, been in the business for a while. Has the gray started to show in any dramatic fashion in your beard? Oh, certainly. Uh, for several years now, I've had a couple of sort of white stripes in the goatee section of my beard, which I thought would make a great bad guy in a superhero movie, and I still think that. If anybody, if any uh, studio executives are checking out Pop Dose. <laughs> uh, so, uh, who do you know? Uh, is there anyone on the Parks and Recreation uh, cast who you've convinced to not grow a... Uh did not shave for the duration of this? We've got uh, a bunch of the cast and crew as well involved in a big contest. You know, you just, you go to the Budweiser Facebook page and hit this Grow One tab. It's really easy and you can pledge to stop shaving. And I, I threw down the gauntlet and said, if anybody can grow a beard that is more manly than mine, I will make you a wooden canoe paddle. And so I think to date we have about 42 guys signed up. And I kind of encourage everybody, you know, get a bunch of your friends. It's a really fun contest. And it's a good experiment. You know, you're saving the planet. It's a great cause. You're, you're saving all this water. But it's a great way to find out what you look like with a beard, in case you, you've always wondered. <laughs> so how excited was, were you and the rest of the cast when you got word that the show was going to be picked up for a third season. Oh, we were, fourth, season fourth season, sorry. We were in, incredibly excited. It's, it's confusing because season one was six episodes. So we've shot the equivalent of two episodes, or I'm sorry, the, we've shot the equivalent of two seasons, but they're calling it season three, and we're, now we're starting season four. We were so relieved when we got picked up because even though the show has a lot of critical acclaim and uh, growing popularity, the ratings are always a, a risky game, and so you know we're we're always wondering if if we'll get to keep coming back. So we're very happy to be in that situation. Excellent. Uh, how much meat are you required to eat when you're in character? I am required to eat a great deal of meat uh, at my job. It seems a ridiculously cushy thing to be paid for, but you know if we're shooting a scene where I'm eating steak or bacon wrapped shrimp, sometimes I may make a few extra mistakes and we have to keep doing more takes of the scene you know it's just it's one of the perils of uh, working in television <laughs> uh, have you considered uh, keeping the cornrow look for any uh, future uh, length of time surprisingly the the cornrow look was a big hit uh, <laughs> many of the ladies on the set said hey buddy that you got some juice with those cornrows and um, so I would love, I'd love to play another role that had cornrows where I got to be some sort of actual badass. How long did it actually take you to get them into cornrows in the first place? God, I think it was, uh, I think it was pretty quick. I want to say uh, maybe an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. This lady named Shay, who's one of our hair crew, is one of the leading experts in cornrows. She does uh, Stevie Wonder's cornrows a lot. So she's incredibly fast and really good at it. So now with your beard, uh, is it an extension of the Swanson Pyramid of Greatness take on facial hair, full, thick, and square? If you have to sculpt it, it probably means you can't grow it? I think, yes, it would, it would fit neatly into that category. Uh, and that's something, you know, with, with my work as Ron Swanson, I've been trying to bring back the mustache to our, our country. And now with this Budweiser Grow One, Save a Million campaign, I, I want to bring back the full lumberjack beard. I think that should aliens land here in a month, it would be wonderful if we presented a more menacing front of, uh, of large beards. And if we happen to be wielding axes, that wouldn't hurt either. 
And lastly, is being Ron Swanson a little bit like being Mur Murgan Sporlock in uh, Super Size Me? Is there a danger your doctor will make you quit? Well, my, uh, my doctor is keeping a close eye on my triglycerides and everything's going well so far. Uh, it's certainly, you know, it's, it's just short of having to like chew tobacco or something for a job. But, you know, the, uh, the red meat portions of work are few enough and far between that so far there haven't been any deleterious effects. Excellent. Well, it's my pleasure talking to you. I, uh, I myself am keeping my beard strong for the, uh, the cause and I'm glad you're behind it. We appreciate it. Thank you kindly. Thank you.